Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly analysis for US oil done on Tuesday 25th of June. I'm recording this video 10, sorry, 11.40pm in the evening New York time, Tuesday the 25th. My last analysis was of oil was two weeks ago. I expected upwards movement at that stage. My target was 98.36 and the invalidation point was 100.43. Price moved higher to 99.21, 85 cents above the target, before turning strongly downwards. So this wave count is correct. This wave count sees a minor degree second wave correction recently ended just a few days ago, and the start of a third wave down a minor degree. The bigger picture sees this third wave within a third wave at intermediate degree, and that as well as within a third wave at primary degree. So when we get towards the middle of minor wave 3, we should be seeing some very strong downwards movement if this wave count is correct. Minor wave 3 must move beyond the end of minor 1, which is off to the left of the chart at 84.07, and it would reach 1.618 the length of minor 1 at 72.74, although this target may actually be a bit too high. When I have more structure within minor wave 3 to analyse, I'll use minute wave degree to add to this target calculation so it may widen to a small zone or it may change as there's more structure to analyse. I'm drawing a parallel channel around the second zigzag in this double for minor wave 2 using Elliott's channeling technique for a correction. I'm drawing the first trend line from the start of the zigzag to the end of the B wave within it with a parallel copy placed on the end of the A wave. I want to see a full daily candlestick below this channel and not touching it to ex before we have trend channel confirmation that this zigzag is over and the next move down is underway. The next move is extremely likely to be a third wave because there's almost no room left for upwards movement for the second wave and were it to continue further the only structure possible now would be a very rare triple flat correction, sorry, triple zigzag correction. So because of the rarity of that structure and the lack of room for upwards movement, the probability that the correction from minor 2 is over is extremely high. Let's have a look at the structure to the downside now for the start of minor 3 where it begins up here, this point up here. So far we probably have minute wave 1, sorry, minuet wave 1, within minute wave 1 of minor 3 complete. So within this third wave we don't have the end of the first wave. The strongest part of downwards movement is still some weeks ahead of us. There are some excellent Fibonacci ratios in this downwards movement, a couple of them almost perfect. I won't go over that in the video, it would just make it too long. I've detailed all of those Fibonacci ratios those I've found and where I haven't found them in the text article on the website. So far to the upside from this low to this high, this movement subdivides pretty obviously into a five wave structure. So if that's correct, minuet wave 2 can't be over there, this is only sub wave or sub minuet wave A within minuet wave 2. Wave B to the downside may or may not be complete, the final C wave within it may move a little bit lower. If it's over here, and it's fairly likely that it is because it's just managed to move as a short, sharp downwards thrust after a barrier triangle in the B wave position here, and so this all looks pretty typical. It's probably either over here or it's going to be over pretty soon. If it is over here, then at 96.82 subminuet wave C would reach 0.618 the length of subminuet wave A and that would bring price for the second wave correction to just a little bit above the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio which is at 96.73. It would also bring the C wave pretty close to the upper edge of the little parallel channel I've drawn here around the zigzag correction for minuet wave 2. While minuet wave 2 zigzag is incomplete, any further downwards movement for the B wave within it may not move beyond the start of the A wave for a zigzag. In the short term, movement below 92.71 would invalidate this wave count. Minuet wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minuet wave 1 above 99.21. I'll expect 
the sea wave to be over within most likely 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer, certainly within 48 hours. So this one shouldn't be as long lasting as the A wave, it should be over in one or two days and I'm expecting over the next week before I do the next analysis of oil another trend change and the next downwards movement for oil should show an increase in downwards momentum. As soon as we have what can be seen as a 5 up on the hourly chart from the end of the B wave on upwards, at that stage the short term invalidation point will no longer apply and must be removed and look out for a trend change and an increase in downwards momentum sometime during the next week for oil. That's all for me today with your oil analysis and I hope that everyone had a fabulous week.